The thoughts and opinions expressed in this video are my own. They may not reflect the opinions in part or as a whole by Oxygen David or Frontier Design. I was not asked to make this video. I'm doing it under my own volition. Well, folks, here we are in 2021. There's been a lot of changes in the new year and many things have carried over from previous years. <laughs> as some of you may have noticed, I've taken a long hiatus from posting videos uh, for various reasons I won't get into now because that's not the topic of this video. But I will tell you I've recorded loads of footage on a variety of games I play on PC and PlayStation and they're just waiting to be edited and released. So yes, more content coming soon. What I didn't expect was this type of video to be the first posted for 2021. But I feel it's a very important subject and it's personal to me as it involves some of my dearest friends. This is a podcast style video. There won't be any fancy graphics or footage you need to look at in order to drive home what I'm about to discuss with you. All I ask is please don't zone out. Dedicate some time to sit down and listen to what I have to say intently. It's taken me this long to post this video because I have to be truthful. I was very angry and upset when I read Oxygen David's post on Facebook. I took a long walk in the garden with Jesus <laughs> to uh, reflect on what I wanted to say and how I wanted to say it. Jesus may not agree with some of this despite my best efforts. <laughs> I wanted to give myself time to type out my thoughts and make sure I'm articulate and accurate. That's best done by giving oneself time to cool down and reflect with a clear mind. No rage and keeping ranting to a minimum. I want to simply convey my opinions, some facts, and deliver them in a pleasant yet serious tone to people that want to listen. Nothing positive ever gets accomplished by screaming at someone. Their ears just shut off at the sound. I always keep that in mind when I speak to people. I'm not always successful keeping my patience, but I do try my very best. <laughs> I also want to make something very clear up front. This video was made to support my good friend Oxygen David and my other friends at Frontier Design. If you have supportive comments, feel free to post them in the comments section. However, if you're a giant super fan, a troll, or just a good old fashioned shill, keep your fingers off the keyboard and keep your negative comments to yourself. Any negative comments will be deleted and you just might get blocked from this channel based on the severity of your comment. Again, this is support for David, other modders, players, and content creators. This is not your sounding board to defend a company that I feel has no defense regarding this subject. What Giants is doing and what they have done, in my opinion, is reprehensible. I'm just here to make you aware and provide you with some food for thought. I've not monetized this video, so you should not experience any ad breaks at all. Now, YouTube has stated that they can choose to put ads on any videos they please. So if you do see an ad, I apologize and I assure you it was not my doing. I have a link to David's Facebook post in the description. You can read what he said there. I also took screenshots of his statement eh, just in case Facebook for some reason takes it down or if Giants contacts Facebook to remove the post. So I've uploaded the screenshots to a folder on my Google Drive and I'll update the description of this video if the original Facebook post goes missing. But I encourage you to go over there and read it and give him some nice supportive comments. I'm sure he'll appreciate it a great deal. All right, let's roll the intro and then we'll get down to the meat of the matter. The management and the quality of Giants content has certainly eroded over the years, and I have noticed that mods on their site often contain errors. They don't properly test their submissions. It's become cronyism in a way. They pass through the mods by authors they admire personally, and if you're not in that circle, they make it very clear that you're not welcomed. I have heard but have not confirmed that Giants now uses outside help to test their mod submissions to the mod hub. If that's accurate, that would explain the total lack of quality testing and the prejudice experienced by several modders. Giants is not innocent in this though. I play their game on PC and PlayStation. On the PlayStation version, I've been battling with a glitch that just won't go away. You uninstall a mod, close the mod hub page and or the entire game, go back in and the mod is back. You find that it's never been uninstalled and many times it will show in the updates tab. The only way to remedy this issue is to back up your save game files 
then uninstall the entire game and re-download the mods that you want back. The problem with this method is, you never know what mod will cause this problem until you attempt to uninstall it. I've researched this problem and found extensive topics on this in the Giants forum, and it dates back to the beginning of the in-game mod hub in 2017. Giants just tells people what most developers tell people. We couldn't reproduce the issue, therefore we can't fix it. Well, that's a load of crap, and they know it. Thousands of players are experiencing this issue, and there's videos and screenshots out there to support it. Giants, download the mods that people report and you'll experience the issue eventually. Don't deploy the standard cop-out statement. Giants doesn't respect the modding community as a whole, nor do they respect their player base. Oxygen David, Bullet Bill, and other members of Frontier Design, in my opinion, are some of the most talented mod authors I know in the community. I am very sorry that things have turned out this way for you, David, and I will not purchase another Giants product ever again moving forward. Now, I had resolved not to do this when they released the broken mess they called FS19. Unfortunately, I purchased the Season Pass for Farm Sim on PlayStation, so I get the new add-ons automatically, but I don't have to install them. Top quality mods and their creators are the reason why the vast majority of people still play this game. If not for the modding community, this game would have been a distant memory long ago. I'll continue to produce Let's Play videos and showcase the work produced by my wonderful modding friends, and even some creative works done by some of my Discord members that have edited maps using the Placeables and Terrain tool in Giants FS19, and some of their work in 17. I already have a video I did with a friend of mine, Quick Kiwi, showing off his creative ideas on Greenwich Farm for FS19. I look forward to showing his farm to all of you. As I said before, I just won't support or promote Giants created content or products. Now a message to those who promote Giants as ambassadors or special previewers, after reading David's statement, take two fingers and gently tap the left side of your chest over your heart. That's where your moral compass resides. Make sure your compass needle isn't stuck. Ask yourself if you're doing the right thing for your viewers or are you doing it for the status, the badge, and the title to further your own ambitions at the expense of your loyal followers. Do you feel good about encouraging people to buy this game and enrich a company that cares only for their equipment sponsors and themselves? I mean, giants can build their own game for themselves and their sponsors to play. The rest of us peasants can certainly do better. We can stand up and show giants that we won't tolerate this treatment by refusing to hand them our money and expressing our dissatisfaction in our reviews on Steam, Epic Games, Google Stadia, PlayStation and Xbox, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Don't let them abuse creators, mod authors, and the players anymore. I heard through the grapevine that Giants has dropped their publisher and endeavor to publish their own content. They say they have big plans to come. Sadly, always it seems, those plans seem to exclude people that have delivered the success they now enjoy. I feel that Giants Day in the Sun will eventually come to a close. Every empire eventually fades away or implodes on itself. Giants has put all their eggs in one basket. That will be part of their undoing. They should really dedicate some time and serious thought regarding what impression they want to put into people's minds now and the legacy they want to leave behind. How do you want people to speak of you, your company and your products, Giants? This could negatively impact Giants' future endeavors with their current game or a different game project in the future. If I don't truly believe in something, I won't support it. I was asked to do voiceovers for a game developer. After experiencing how they run their studio and treat their fans and those like me who contribute their help, I decided to turn down the offer. Yes, it would have been my voice that guided you through the game's tutorial section and it would have been heard by potentially hundreds of thousands of people. It would have boosted my own ambitions, but I don't let my personal goals cloud my moral compass. So my point in telling you this is Giants isn't the only greedy group of developers that take advantage of people, that's for sure. There are developers out there of good character and they support products and listen to their employees and fans. Giants and other developers I mentioned just don't fall into that category. 
I respect Oxygen David's decision 100%. And again, I'm very sorry it has come to this for him and so many others, but it's been a long time coming, to be honest. It's a sad day for console players because they will not be able to enjoy the future works by Oxygen David. Now, Oxygen David has joined the ranks of Bullet Bill and CCS 101 and has posted some of his mod creations on my friend Grizzly Bear Sims website, Simply Safe Mods. Bookmark the website in your browser. The link to it is always in the description. Please keep in mind you will only find PC mods only. Console mods are not available outside of the Giants Mod Hub. Lastly, but most importantly, I would like to thank Oxygen David, Bullet Bill, CCS101, Aiden, and Dusty Dave for taking a chance on me very early on in my YouTube endeavor when nobody else would. You guys watched and commented on my videos, and you've given me early access to your work to feature on my channel many times. Aiden has helped me in the very beginning stages of my YouTube adventure by helping me raise the quality of my videos via honest feedback and has helped me with my own modding projects and even fixing junk mods. <laughs> He's a clever guy. Through these interactions, we've become great friends outside of YouTube. Now, I don't base my friendship on what people can do for me. I base friendship on the character of the individual, their treatment towards others, and myself. I don't give a damn if you ever hand me another project again. I am your friend, and that will never change. As a footnote here, many people ask why I don't show my subscriber count. Folks, I don't have anything to hide or be ashamed of. I'm a small channel, and that's mostly my own doing because I don't upload consistently. And maybe there's just a good group of people that think I suck. <laughs> I can speculate endlessly, but it's not worth getting stressed over. I certainly want my channel to grow, but I won't use people as a stepping stone to do it. I don't show my subscriber numbers because I want to be judged by my content and my personality. The view and sub count should not be the first thing you look at when deciding to watch someone's content. If nobody gave small creators a chance, then they would never grow, and you might miss out on something that you would potentially really enjoy. If it sucks, well then you don't have to invest any more time in that creator and move on. So again, thank you David, Sam, CCS101, Dusty Dave for your trust and giving me a leg up. That being said, in conclusion, I would also like to thank my loyal viewers and subscribers for your support over the years and for your friendship as well. The list is too long to name all the wonderful friends I've met via YouTube and Discord, some of which I have met personally and we share phone numbers and addresses and send each other things. And I am sincerely grateful to know you and I am honored to have your friendship. So to all of you, thank you for taking time out of your life to listen to me and God bless. Take great care of each other. Bye for now. I'm saying goodbye. Saying goodbye, do you get it now? I'm saying goodbye.